Hey guys, so I thought today would be a great day to do a little bit of a visual experiment of what happens to our motor oil in extreme cold conditions. So uh, now today in Saskatoon, it's been minus 30 for most of the day. I think it's actually warmed up a little bit here. We're going to check what the temperature is right now. Uh, according to the weather network, well, it's warmed up a little bit. It's minus 25 right now. Uh, but most of the day it was uh, around minus 30 here and that works out to about minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit if you're curious. So anyway, I got a jug of motor oil outside here and we're going to check what the pour factor of this stuff is like. So this jug has been sitting outside since uh, I believe 10 o'clock this morning. It's been out there for about five and a half hours and now First of all, I should clarify that I am not sponsored. I'm not endorsing any type of oil here. What this is, is actually just a, a 530 Castrol, uh, and it's a blend. Uh, now, if you don't know what a blend is, it's a mix between a conventional and a synthetic motor oil. So, unfortunately, I don't know how much synthetic is in here. Even Castrol can't tell us uh, how much uh, synthetic blend is actually in there. It could be 2%, it could be 50%. We don't actually know and they can't tell us so uh, this is actually a blend uh, but it is a 530 that's the viscosity and that's very common in most of our vehicles today 530 is very 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 common I thought this would be a good good test to try this stuff uh, now to clarify I do actually use this in my 09 Chevy Hafton that's sitting outside on the driveway right now in minus 25 degree weather and I also use it in my Chevelle so that's that's why I have this here and the only reason I'm using this one is because I happen to have this in stock so we're gonna open this jug up and see what the pour factor is like on this stuff so this is a brand new jug it's never been opened before just to you know uh you know i'm not trying to snow anybody here this is an actually 530 castor blend so we're going to pop this open and pour it into a jug and see what this stuff is like in these type of temperatures See if I can do this one-handed without making a mess here. Yeah, you can see how that stuff pours. It's kind of, it's like molasses. Really, uh, really thick. You can see how it kind of, anyway, I thought this would be a good experiment just to see what that stuff's like. So. That stuff sits on our oil pan. Uh, your vehicle sits outside all night long, whether it's plugged in or not, this is what's in the oil pan, unless you have a pan here, of course. Uh, but this stuff gets pretty thick and soupy and uh, kind of like molasses. Uh, and that's a 530 viscosity. And it's been outside for about, like I say, five and a half hours, roughly. And most of the day here, it was minus 30 degrees. Fahrenheit, which works out to minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, uh, pardon me, Celsius to Fahrenheit. Uh, anyway, minus 25 right now, and that's what that stuff looks like. It's pretty thick and soupy looking stuff, so you have to think about what goes on when you do a cold start in your engine. Uh, how long does it actually take that stuff to make its way up to the top of the engine? And that's just a 530 viscosity. Uh, and that's, I'm only using that because that's what I had here today. And again, I can't tell you that uh, how much synthetic is actually in this stuff. Uh, Castro can't tell us and I can't tell you, but uh, there is some in there. It could be a very small percentage, but anyway, kind of a neat little experiment. I thought I'd try with you guys today and show you exactly what that stuff looks like after it sat outside for five and a half hours in minus 30 degree temperatures. Uh, so you have to <laughs> you think about what happens when you turn the key on and you start your engine when it's super cold outside. Uh, it takes a while for that to actually get to the top part of the engine and what's the drain back feature like, like how, how fast does it get back into the pan when it's this thick and yeah it's kind of hard on stuff that's for sure. Anyway kind of a neat little experiment I thought I'd try with you guys today. I uh, appreciate it, appreciate everybody watching and uh, like, share and subscribe if you see something you like in these videos. 
Uh, and also, uh, Christmas is just around the corner. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and all the best in 2023. Thanks for watching, guys.